hello everyone welcome back once again in this video we will look at python web development project inside of visual studio 2019 before we get started if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do so in this video we will actually explore the django framework so it's the web project using the django framework so rather than just talking too much we can get started to be able to start obviously you need a uh, the newest version of visual studio at least the community version which is free and then once you've got that installed or if you are about to install it obviously you go through the visual studio installer so primarily once you finish installing the visual studio or you're about to if you already have the visual studio installer you can go to modify if you if you have the visual studio installed so what you have to do is you have to click this bit here so this is just a python development toolkit for visual studio 2019 so once you click on this bit here then you can download and install it right so once you've, you're able to download and install it then you can actually come to the uh, visual studio again so from here we can create and we're going to create a new project so once we have the new project dialog we have to select on the language side the python language so we should have all of this bit here if you've actually installed it properly so we can also select a project type so we could say web project so we can get much more specific projects that we want to work with right so in this case we're going to select the Django web project so once we've actually selected that we can click on the next and then here the configure your new project dialog here you can configure the project details like the name and the, and the solution locations so once you've done with that here we I'm not going to change any anything so we can click on the create So we should get um, a Python Django web application project or the template created for us inside the Visual Studio. So once the whole thing is set up, we can just we can uh, exploit and do some bits and pieces in terms of configuration so that we'll be able to run it properly. So now we have the, the Django web project created yeah so as you can see we have got very um, this documentation so it says this project has the default settings for database which uses a SQLite so if you need a super user you need to create one before running the application so if we don't have any super user and we run the application this is what this is exactly what we will get so I'm just going to change the the default browser to Google Chrome so we just want we're just going to run it to see what actually happens before we, we go about in terms of making changes so as you can see here now we have an error displaying so you, you can you can go ahead and read through all the errors so but I'm not going to look into that too much so we're just going to go ahead bang on and, and start doing what we're doing so i'm just going to close the server so so here on the project here you right click on the project and then you select this python and then you come to create um, django create super user so you click on this bit here so here we have this pop-up here django Man management console so here you can you can choose whatever username that you want to use I'm just going to choose um, hacked bytes yeah and then here you'll be prompted to add your email address we just keep it by clicking OK so here you just be also prompted to add your password so I'm just going to add six zeros one two three four five six we're just gonna leave it as it is here and here you'll be actually prompted to re-enter the password 
So I have six zeros, right? So we click on OK. So bypass password validation and create a user. So we, in this case, I'm just going to put Y, which means we're not going to validate the password. So you can, you can put a little bit more powerful password, but it's just for this video. So I'm not going to be more into that. So I'm just going to put Y here. So the super user created successfully. So now we've got the super user created. We can come inside this project bit here. And then we can click on the, we come here on this solution part here, click on the Python environment, right? So here we have got this, this display for specifically for Python. So here we, we on this overview, we click on the packages here. So here we can see what, what type of package is installed, yeah? So we have the Django package installed and some bits and pieces. So in, a, in case you don't have the Django package installed on your system, what you can do is just gonna type in Django here, make sure you have an internet and then you can install the Django package like by clicking on this run command PIP install Django and then you, you can get that bit sorted out so now as you can see we've got that bit sorted out we, we, we're going to run it again to see if anything comes out I, I suggest there will be an error but let's see what actually comes out of it so it's a template template syntax error so we're still getting an error so i'll show you why we're getting an error now so we're just going to close this bit here so now we come we, we put it back on the overview here yeah? and then then we can click on this bit here add environment so once you click on that, this bit here you'll be this the, this dialog will open uh, add a new um, environment so here you can set up the environment details here you can put your base interpreter in this case i've got only this bit so um, um saved or downloaded and you, you can name your environment as well and you can select what project you want to create the environment if you've got multiple projects so in this case uh, we're just gonna leave it this bit as it is here now yeah and then click on the create so I'll wait for a few seconds while the environment creates so this bit will actually will create a new environment for our project to run on or to run in so do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device so I'm just gonna click on yes so as you can see here uh, we've got our um, environment being sorted out So with all the necessary packages so we're just going to wait for some few moments while the whole thing just works out so we've got our environment created with all all the essential requirements also added to it so as you can see the requirements dot test was installed so whatever whatever our requirements that was inside our test view if you come here this requirement bit here so so as you can see yeah we've got this Django bit here that has been installed yeah so here we can also ena enable install and enable PyTest if we want so I'm just gonna do that one bit as well so we we'll wait for that bit to also install so once we've got that bit successfully installed, so we can now run the application. So as you can see, now we have the application showing up now. So we can actually log in by using the the username that I actually used, which which I, I can't remember. 
So I, I think I used hacked bytes. So let's check hacked bytes. And then the password is six zeros. Four, five, six. So we see if that's. The, so as you can see, we, we've got ourselves logged in now. So I will leave this bit here. We're not going to explore too much inside the code. So you can have a look inside yourself and then build on your on your knowledge so we, so before i logged off here we're just going to look at what is inside here we have the app this folder app which contains the static files of of the of the project so here we have the the, the contents the fonts the, the css and the javascript files and inside the template here we have the we have the, got the HTML template. So this index.html indicates the home page. So it's also got a little bit of some code attached to it. So I'm just going to leave it here so you can have a look yourself and build on your knowledge. So once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. And I hope you catch up on the next video. Have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.